I don't know why I clap. Dude, I always clap to like, so I know when to cut out, like cut into my fucking video. Yeah, this is going in the video, by the way. You know, oh shit. WrestleMania 30, the kickoff show. <laughs> I swerved oh you, brother. God. Dude, uh, this show, this pre, -sh this kickoff show, pre-show, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I forget if they call it pre-show or kickoff show at this point. I'm going to go with kickoff show, fuck you. Well, it it's, says pre-show on the logo, so I'm assuming it's pre-show. Vince Russo made that. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> So we got the kickoff show. This show, two and a half hours of complete bullshit. But I can't handle all that bullshit. So I had to bring in 64 with me. How you doing, 64? I'm doing uh, great. It's almost like I'm having a little deja vu right now. Yeah, definitely. You know? It's, it's uh, so weird. I don't know what's happened. I don't know. I think I think maybe Kane and El Helio de Rey Mysterio have some tension between them. But, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, you know, that's just, that really do how it'd be sometimes. And Tyson Kidd, I, I literally just remember Tyson Kidd split up with Natalia. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking Chad move. Oh but, my god. <laughs> but anyway, we have so many matches to get through. Let's just jump right in so we can get this card going underway. So we have the official kickoff show. We have Joey Styles. Yeah. We got Shane McMahon. I don't know, which one do you think? Oh, I, I assume you would be Joey Styles. I would be Shane McMahon. No, Shane Joey Styles knows how to formulate sentences without stuttering. Yeah, but I wouldn't either. I'm, I, Shane's gotten a little chunky, so I'd probably be him. <laughs> I guess I'm Shawn Michaels then. <laughs> yeah, well, and Shawn Michaels, you know, obviously, you know, Joey Styles excited to be here. Shane McMahon excited to be here. Shawn Michaels was power bombed off the stage by Batista, and he's literally leaving. And they had the company itself, but he's fucking. He's no longer SmackDown general manager, so he doesn't give a shit. He's like, <laughs> fuck this <laughs> shit. He's just pissed the whole he's, internet. He's, he's, he's like in a cast. He's like he's like Squidward in that episode of Spongebob. In the full body cast. You can't say anything. Oh, the one dude in the chocolate scene. Yeah. He's, yeah. Every every day Shawn Michaels breaks his arms. But you know. <laughs> let's And real quick. Let's just run through these matches. In the order that they will happen. So I don't forget. I have my phone clutching it. Running out of power. Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. And unlike the real life version. It's actually important. The winner is SmackDown General Manager. You gotta yeah. wonder. You gotta wonder who's gonna be in it. There's probably all kinds of great people in it. It's definitely not yeah, just Jobbers. No, 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 no. We didn't just clear out the enhancement talent. Oh the, uh, yeah, no, definitely no FCW. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, imagine that though. Shane McMahon did say that he's like anyone can be in there. What if, what if like Adam Cole, or like. What if a woman won it? Not that a woman can't be Joe Manager. Bro, chill, if... chill, chill. You're giving the audience too much hope. Oh, yeah. You're gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna build this shit up way too much. Oh, yeah, definitely. Hey, I built this whole show up, brother. This is my empire. I don't know what that meant. But it, speaking of empires, we got two kings going at it. Rey Mysterio and Hel Helio de Rey Mysterio. The nephew of Rey Mysterio, even though he's called the son for some reason. Pretty, pretty decent transition there. Yeah. yeah, if, yeah. if Rey loses... He takes off the mask forever for good, and if his nephew loses, he cannot use the Rey Mysterio name. And he's no longer his son. He's no longer his nephew's son. But yeah, that that's it's gonna happen regardless right. whether or not he wins or loses. We have the Shield, the the the, the, the men who have just really not done a lot on Raw because they can't book all these fucking guys, but they have done decently. Taking on Alex Riley and the Dragon Aces, too young and up and coming. Legendary superstars and Alex Riley. Not much more yep. to say about. Yeah, not, much, not much to say in not, general. Not, yeah, I mean it is. It's a match. Team it's Diva, happening. Team Divas versus the Coven. This is actually important because in the title match on the main show, if the Coven lose, they are barred from ringside. Get them the fuck out of here. No more Paige. No more Melissa. Yeah, no more the, get was, those uh, whores out of my fucking building. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> da -na -na -na. <laughs> Fuck it. We're, we 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 added to the era again, boys. Oh no. Um, and then sports <laughs> entertainment security, Kane and the Big Suck taking on Air Harem, Yujiro Takahashi and Evan Bourne, the plucky duo. This is not just about a shot at the tag team titles. This is about Evan Bourne's losing his virginity, getting some Gucci. But he doesn't want Gucci until he wins at WrestleMania. I guess the pre the kickoff show counts. You know, I, I mean, not like not like they get not like Mal like that the Mal clones give a shit. I don't think they speak English. Yujiro just kind of leads them around. And they just do what he wants. 
Yeah, Yujiro could just tell them it's the yeah. main show, and they yeah. wouldn't fucking know it. I, I don't think they know what the show is. They just come out with them, and just, they, they scare Bray Wyatt when they need to be. But we have our main event. We have Jack Swagger, for some reason, Samoa Joe, who just wanted the paycheck, and Colt Cabana defending his IC title in the main event. They got pushed to the kickoff show because there's too much shit on the main show. And there's apparently too much shit on the kickoff show now, yeah, too. We need the too... fucking pre-kickoff show now. Yeah, we got the pre-kickoff show. <laughs> the 30-minute pre-kickoff show. It's insane. fucking SmackDown. It's fucking nuts, man. I don't know what we'd be doing out here. They don't do this shit in the SWF, I'll tell you that for sure. Uh, we don't have enough talent or money, so... <laughs> oh, hold up. <laughs> but, you know what? Let's just jump right into the first match. It's the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. We're not breaking this match down. We're just going to win... Winner is SmackDown general manager, and Tyson Kidd. Tyson yeah. Kidd does it. The He's so legend. important, he doesn't even get his picture up there. Yeah, dude, no, he, he don't need his picture. He a true yeah. king. He tossed over everybody. Dude, the final four, uh, the final four people at home, people were watching, and it was either Tyson Kidd, Frankie Kazarian, Brodus Clay, or David Otunga. <laughs> Surprisingly, oh, the four horsemen. The four horsemen. The four horsemen. You know, maybe maybe Tyson will do him some favors. You know, there, there's. I mean, look at the pic- people pictured above. You could tell. No, no, these are, these are awful. Like, imagine if like some uh, one else won this match. Like Tyson Kidd has at least stated that he likes this and he wants to help wrestling. But like, what if Lord Tensai won it? Does he speak English? What is Albert doing? <laughs> Wait, wait, Albert goes to Japan for a few years, he forgets how to speak English? I assume, that was that the gimmick? He had a translator who also didn't speak English. It was fucking wait, weird. wait, he had a translator that didn't speak yeah, English? Yeah, he had a manager what who, like, talked for him. For? I don't know, PG era was weird, man. Oh my god. What if, what if Vicky Langston won it with that great picture? <laughs> what if... No. What if Bo Dallas won it? Why is Charlie Haas even in this fucking match? <laughs> Because he's contract, he's gonna be pissed if he doesn't get on the pre-show. Oh, I turn that shit off. I don't deal with that shit. <laughs> I, I know, I but he'd that. still be pissed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck him. I he mean, just gets pissed about a lot of things. I mean, I, I, I literally, I'm gonna be honest with everybody from '64 to the folks at home. I, I, I honestly forgot I had Terry Rave, who are the, oh, that's what's his face in a fucking contract. I was like, who is this? When did I sign this? I stole him from TNA, only to realize I really didn't want him. That's what. That's when I needed to limit. I needed to limit my powers. But you know what? This isn't about us. It's not about Terry. It's not about Hunico. It's not about Seed Slate. It's about Tyson Kidd. And Tyson Kidd, he completes the boyhood dream. His road to redemption, even though he didn't do anything wrong. He hoists up the big Andre the Giant trophy. There's probably a suit on it, so he can put on the suit and become general manager. They really need a fucking general manager right now. And, you know, and everybody comes out. Shawn Michaels, Shane McMahon, Tyson, Ke- yeah, Tyson Kidd's already there. Joey Styles. And they're like, you know, they give a mic to, to Tyson Kidd. And he's like, I, I'm, I'm so happy to win this. I know I'm literally the only one the crowd wanted to do, like, well in this match. But I am going to change SmackDown forever. There's going to be no more murders, no more Chuck E. Cheese ball pit funerals. There's going to be no more stupid shit. It's just going to be pure, unadulterated sports entertainment, fun for the whole family, but we do still say fuck. It, it, it will be incredible. But the, I don't know what's going to happen with Raw. That's up to Shane McMahon. Shane Shrugs is like, I have no idea. And Shawn Michaels is still in the cast. He still can't say anything. But then this man, just this cartoonish-looking man, just walks up. He looks like Joey Styles. And uh, yeah. I think 64 could take him from here. Yeah, hold, let me clear my... Hold up. I need to, you know, get into the voice. Oh, yeah, quick. get in character. <clears throat> uh, hello. Uh, I'd like to apply for uh, general manager. SmackDown? Please? Get the fuck out. And he walks away. And uh, he's just, not, he's, try next week. Let's see. He walks away, you know. He, he probably does have a good shot next week. I mean, we don't know what, what's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, Tyson Kidd will just get fucking murdered, won't he? Yeah, I mean, the whole... I mean... Kofi Kingston Triple H are having an actual fight. They're probably going to attempt to murder each other. So we don't know how that's going to affect the CEO position. We have, we have no idea what's going on. The whole the whole company structure has been fucked ever since John Cena 
basically beat the shit out of all the stockholders. It, it's it's probably one of my favorite moments of the series. Go down in legendary. Oh. But next up, we have a match. You have King vs. King, Rey Mysterio, El Heel Leader, Rey Mysterio, Mask versus Name, all on the line. And in a in a pretty good match. This got even better than the match we did the first time. I could be wrong. But I can't no, remember. No, it got the, it got the exact same. Oh, right the exact down, same. Right down to the person performances. Yeah, they, the exact same. They got their consistent exactly the consistent. same consistent that's what you get with the Raymond Steer family you know there's a lot of it's not like indie riffic flips but it's like WWE's like cruiserweight where it's like you're invested slightly mm-hmm. but it's like it could, could they be a little more exciting I mean Ray's got bad knees and no one even knows who the fucking his nephew is but they seem to be excited and the crowd's like yay yay on every spot yeah Woo-hoo. but Ray hits the 619 into the west coast pop for the win I not to see it set time. Fuck, whatever. No, is that the same thing? Whatever. Who gives a shit? The crowd I think it's the same thing. Crowd does not give a shit. <laughs> and Ray wins. He he keeps his mask, but his nephew has to lose the name. And Ray, he looks at his nephew and he, he he grabs him by the arm, he pulls him up, and he's like, Someday you're gonna be good. And there's like a guy in the crowd who's like, No. But <laughs> what? No, oh they're like but they're like, you're gonna be good, nephew. Trust me. I understand if you, if you, even if you never like me again, we're gonna be fine, and you're gonna do just fine. And Hunico's like, there. He's just sitting there and Ray's like, you're a piece of shit, and that's that's all he says to Hunico. Cause fuck Hunico. He lost the battle royal anyway. He sucks. <laughs> what just, is he even doing here? I, 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 you know what? This was this was if I think it was pretty obvious. This was the fan voted poll. Oh, the the fan. The, what did I call it? The ultimate fan experience. Yeah, I think the nonverbal yeah, pie one, and then he got RKO'd on Raw, because that was a fun moment that I had planned. You know, honestly, I actually had kind of fun booking this one. Even the name made me giggle. Side note: Does any, has anyone seen? Is a fucking meme. This is the the story name. If you could see right here, was it's, is it the Elemental Games guy that does like like it's not a clickbait, but it's like. Times it's like top ten WWE game videos, and someone edited it so it was just ten times you could turn gay in what? WWE what? games. I swear to God, I have this meme somewhere. Oh my god! And it, and it just cuts to Rey Mysterio. And it's like press X to turn gay. It's supposed to be the thumbnail, and it's Rey in the mask from one of the SmackDown vs Raw ones, but it just says Gay Mysterio. <laughs> it is my favorite fucking thing I've ever seen ever. I swear to God, it's real. If I find it, I'll put it up. I'll put it up, I swear to God. Oh, my God. It's not top, ten, top ten times you could turn gay. gay. In WWE games. He just fucking ranks them. Yeah. It's, like, it's just like... I wish it was a real like, video. The, the number, ten, video. Number, number 10. Number 10, Gay Mysterio. I'm putting this one pretty low because I would have liked to see more role play with this one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably be like TW ones. All oh, right. But next up we have... Oh, oh no! Wait, this is this is an important segment right here. So Vince McMahon, as we know, has been in a coma, and we see we don't know how we get this footage. It's one of those WWE things. Where it's like, I right, we just have footage somehow. Like, yeah, the cameraman is invisible. Yeah, and, some... and he's in he's in a thing, and you know he's you know he's dee, dee, like you know he's hooked up to a machine. It's kind of like the Austin thing, but for like we we make it as fake as possible. And, <laughs> and Vince, all of a sudden, his eyes open up. And there's like a nurse who's like changing his fucking old man diaper or whatever the shit. And he's like, oh my god. And the doctors rush in. And it's a man's like, oh, oh my god. He's like, what the hell happened? And the doctor's like, Josh Cena threw you off Titan Towers. which is a pretty lit match. It got like a 90. It got like a 90 somehow. I forget. What yeah, it, got. Got, it got a pretty high Dave Meltzer score. Man. Yeah, it got a bit. Considering what it was, if it was a cinematic match in TW 2020, it would have been even better. But Vince is like, ah. Oh. That's, that's awful. Is he still the champion? He's like, no, no, John Cena lost the belt. He's like, oh, thank God. Who is the champion? Zack Ryder. And he flatlines. And he's like dying. <laughs> and the doctor's like, holy <laughs> shit. And they get the, they get the, what do you, the, the fucking things you pump the fucking heart the, full of the electricity. They the get the defibrillators from Left 4 Dead 2. And they start trying to pump Vince McMahon. And they eventually stabilize him, but he doesn't wake up. And back in the coma, he goes. After that, fucking horrific news during this segment oh. um, i would like to point out michael cole was very weak probably because he was 
<laughs> Dude, was... they're commentating over the fucking segment. They're doing the Jerry Lawler thing, which is this. Ah. It's just that the whole time. It's just that. Like the nurse comes in and Jerry Lawler's like, puppy. Puppy. <laughs> no, Jerry. Oh, but that hilarity aside, we have the shield. They take on Alex Riley, Tanahashi, and Yoshitatsu in their six man tag match. The shield streak is on the line. They've never lost in six man tags. And they don't lose today. Yeah, yeah they're not jobbing match. on the fucking pre show. Yeah, you know, I, I honestly would have liked to have this on the main show, as weird as it sounds, considering who's in it. At least, I mean, the shield of the shield, but. And dra- I, I like Dragon Aces, but Alex Riley is. Alex Riley is a bit interesting. You know, he had the whole, my favorite, I think my favorite kind of weird moment I've had is where Alex Riley came a psychopath, but still got his ass beat just like regular <laughs> TV. Oh my god, dude, that's happened so many times. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is, well, I mean, like, Wade Barrett has beat the shit out of him, like, multiple days on Raw. This is why, like, the draft show is gonna be needed. Oh my like, god. one of the first episodes. Oh, wait, wait, the draft show, that's after WrestleMania, right? Oh, yeah. But, oh, oh, I didn't I, even think of that. I Holy wanted to bring shit. this up, actually, is that because I didn't, is that the first event is we have the pay-per-view. I forget what the pay-per-view schedule will be, just because it's a... I can look at, I can look at pre-booking here. Uh, yeah, Backlash. Before Backlash, we're going to run a, a smaller show, which will be the draft. So some WrestleMania yeah. rematches will have the draft. It'll be more like a superstar shakeup because I'm fucking lazy and I don't want to make a bunch of graphics, but you know we will get the gist of it. But yeah, no, this this match was uh, 83 B plus. That's way better than I. Again, this these are actually, you know, maybe this show they should have been on the main show. Undertaker John's probably gonna get like a 68, 69, <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, 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 64. Yeah, 64. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, we, have... wait, we should not be celebrating lower scores than we establish. Fuck it. Oh, fucking voice crack. God damn it. <laughs> voice crack coming in. The, it's like the new task time. bar. Every fucking time. I get rid of one bad thing, a new thing comes up. I get ready. Just punch your Adam's apple. Take it out. Oh. <laughs> Big show punch it. But anyway, next up, we have the divas slash women, because we haven't decided we want to have a women's revolution yet, versus the coven with all their silly names and their silly gimmicks. AJ Lee leads these this army of women to try to stop the bullshit and the interferences, but can they really do it? Just shut the oh my god, Harvey Wolfman is just like here, dude. He's the new who, who was it? Runaway Train that ruined the momentum. Yeah, <laughs> the fucking suspense. Harvey killing. Wolfman's oh like, my god. Harvey Wolfman's like you dropped this king. I knew high spot ability. I'm glad Alex <laughs> Riley's becoming a spot monkey. <laughs> hey, hey. But in an 84 B, the women actually fucking do it. They defeat the Coven, and the Coven are now banned from ringside after AJ Lee hits the Shining Wizard on Paige, the resident Coven jobber. Uh, AJ Lee obviously super over, getting great. The rest of the roster Holy doing fuck. pretty decent. I'll think, I don't know where Melissa's got this shit. I think she got popped from when she was just hanging out with the Bellas for like like, like three months when that fucking feud happened. Oh. <laughs> Which was a thing. But yeah, no, the... Uh, the Coven obviously lose, and the women all celebrate. Katie Lee's there. She will, of course, be challenging for uh, the final. And it wouldn't be, it obviously wouldn't be a, uh, a My Tyler booking without someone on screen who shouldn't be. Oh, uh, I'll let you guess bro, I, I told you how is. to fix that. <laughs> I, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mean, we, we, already, we almost botched one fucking thing to stream. Don't get me wrong. Almost? <laughs> yeah, almost. That was a full botch. Yeah, dude. Dude, where's... Dude, get Matthew on here. He'll have it on there. But obviously the women celebrate, and I gotta oh, reopen up my phone. But I don't really gotta open up my phone, because we have an announcement. Dude. Tyson Kidd just got Markiplier to be on SmackDown. What? Everyone's favorite gaming YouTuber is gonna be oh. on SmackDown. It's fucking great. The kids are gonna love it. Oh my god, this Shit. is... This is just such good shit, This guys. is good shit. Like, imagine oh what he my. could do. He could run into John Cena. I hope not. He'd probably die. <laughs> uh, he, could, he could hang out with Shane McMahon and Shawn Michaels. Maybe Jerry Eisen will hang out with him. They'll play some Five Nights at Freddy's or whatever he was playing oh, at this point. Okay, 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 too far, too far. Too far, <laughs> too, we too don't far. Know. We don't I can only them. do so much. We have, okay, now we have the next match. We're, we're coming to the end here, this, this fucking dog shit. We have sports entertainment security, Kane and the Big Suck, versus fucking Air Harem, Evan Bourne, 
and Yujiro Takahashi. And this match has probably the biggest moment of the entire card so far. Oh, you know, shit. obviously, you know, Evan Bourne using his, his, his air to just go fly and just fly circles around Kane, who fucking sucks and definitely hasn't taken a TNA contract if I didn't offer him a new contract. Uh, so, and then Big Show, of course. He's obviously more mobile. He's the, he's the like, the, the linchpin of the tag team. He actually knows what he's kind of doing. <laughs> Surprisingly, you'd think it'd be the other way around. Actually, I don't know why you'd think it'd be the other way around. Fuck both of them. But Big Show, in a pivotal point, he just he just runs over, punches, just KO punches Yujiro. He's out. And, of course, all the bunnies catch him. And he grabs... Kane is out because he fucking sucks. He had, like, he broke his leg or something. And he's hobbling away. Oh, my God. Fuck him. Which is, this is the Kane just variant. Just casually breaks his leg. Yeah, just, just on the thing. One of the one of the bunnies ran and, like, chopped him. Like, Corey Graves' old finishing move. Uh, if you fucking remember. That. Yeah, it was a chop block. But he grabs him for the choke slam, right? And as he goes to position himself, like, he moves around. He comes face to face with one of the bunnies. One of the Mal clones. And he's like, what What the fuck is this? And the referee is just letting this happen, because fuck it. Because it's like, it's the pre-show. They don't give a shit. They're not getting paid. They're not getting <laughs> was... paid. Fuck them. And then another Malclone comes in. And another. And another. And they start, like, climbing on top of each other. And they form, like, a, a weird fucking, like, goddamn Zoltron shit. And Big Show's oh, like, he's, Big, Big Show has now dropped Evan Bourne. And he's just, like, he's just looking at this, just... This TNA in front of him, which is forming a fucking robot, basically. Not an actual robot. And they use their collective strength to body slam the big show a la Hulk Hogan. What? The crowd goes ape shit. I, it's gonna be sold out. I'm just spoiler alert. It, it was like 100,000 fans. Mercedes Dome was like 78. The crowd goes fucking ape shit. Jim Cornette cries somewhere. And Evan Bourne, he then gets up and he goes and he hits the fucking splash up on the big show. And in a 92A, they fucking defeat sports entertainment security. Evan Bourne, he pins Kane because fuck him. He, like, he hits the move on the big show and <laughs> makes Kane ta- tag in and then pins him because fuck him. Dude, he couldn't kick out with a broken freaking leg. Broken freaking leg, bro. <laughs> yeah, that that's that strategy right there. Air harem, I, I, I and the fucking body pillow, and all the male clones, they do it. They win, and they're the new number one contenders for the fucking tag team titles. But more importantly, Evan Bourne gets to actually have sex. But before that, like, all the male clones, they then, like, move to, like, the front, like, the entrance ramp. And they, like, put their arms out. And Evan Bourne's like, do I do it? And he looks at his body pillow. He doesn't want to leave the body pillow. He loves his body pillow. Like, that's his love. That's his life. But you know what? He Tommy Dreamers it. He's hardcore. He's going to have both. And he fucking jumps like a rock star onto all the Mal clones. He will be getting coochie tonight. And Yujiro's like, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like him. He's my bro. And... (laughs) I thought for a second it said the body pillow. I thought I made it an actual character in that gimmick. Oh, the big show body pillow. Yeah, <laughs> that would that would be horrible. I never want to think about that again. But Evan <laughs> no, that's, Bourne, that's that's fucking marketing right there. Evan, you want to? There you go, dude. Buy it now in the uh, the shop, the network, dude. Evan Bourne is getting coochie, and there's no there's no greater thing in the world than that. Except our main event for the kickoff show. An actual match featuring actual wrestlers with an actual title on the line. Well, I guess the Andre the Giant thing was pretty important because it's the fucking SmackDown general manager. But yeah, but that's not a real title. No one really wants to like be that anyway, since you know Batista fucking Batista bomb Shawn Michaels. John Cena murders everybody. <laughs> no one wants that shit. But we have Jack Swagger. We have Samoa Joe, Colco Ben. Colco Ben has been IC champion for a while after he sent that nerd right back out to TNA. Samoa Joe. He, he, he just, he wanted to, he not only wanted to be at WrestleMania like everybody does, he wants that fat paycheck and that fat title belt. Jack that Swagger. fat kickoff show paycheck. There you go. And we got Jack Swagger, who basically wants the same thing, except people like Samoa Joe. No one likes Jack Swagger. He's definitely the <laughs> oh, heel. Oh. He's the dark horse, though. Just because you're not well-liked doesn't mean you can't have a shot at winning this title. You know, Colt had it for a while. He might slip up. You know, Colt's a great technical guy, but he's, he's not, I mean... Can he beat Samoa Joe? Can he beat Jack Swagger? 
you know, who has the better shot at this. And an 85 B plus, somehow getting worse than the goddamn Big Show bullshit. Cole Cabana <laughs> defends his title at WrestleMania when he hits Jack Swagger with the Colt 45. Defense number eight of his IC title. He didn't pin Samoa Joe, though. Samoa Joe probably ran roughshod over all this match, if I had to imagine in my head. He yeah, probably, yeah. like... Like, he mostly focuses on Jack Swagger because fuck Jack Swagger. He's obviously the heel. And then, you know, he's friends with Colt, so whenever Colt, he kind of just shoves him off and just throws him out the ring just to deal with more Jack Swagger, isolate Jack Swagger. But Colt turns that around, hits the Colt 45, and just nails fucking Jack Swagger with it. And like two good friends always do, they gotta shake hands. It's not a WWE match without friends shaking hands, am I right? Oh, yeah. You know, they zimmy and then randy it. You know, they, they shake... Well, they don't hug, but they, like, shake hands. And they're like, yeah, this they're, is... not, they're not brothers. They're not yeah. brothers. They don't hug. They're brothers from another mother, but they're not actual brothers. Drake and Josh references be damned. And, yeah, that's the kickoff show. And I, I, I love to see what this has done to our pop. 100. Oh. 98. You know what? Honestly, we've had worse <laughs> Raws at this point. Honestly. <laughs> honestly, I'm just excited to be at WrestleMania at this point. And I want to thank Eric guys for the kickoff show. I want to thank 64 for showing up. And I'll see you guys for the main show, the final show for TW2016, WrestleMania 30. Yeah. 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 Yeah.